This is a supplementary video that I'm making because I sort of went off the reservation on this one. Uh, I just want to point out a couple things that we got here. I have a uh, um, uh, decade resistor. I've disconnected this resistor right here. I put this decade resistor in, and its only purpose is to match this 47K against that other 47K so the voltage is the same. And, and that's all there really is to that. There's no magic or anything associated with that. And that would ensure that uh, all things being equal, the uh, uh, the output voltage for the two uh, uh, phase inverted signals would be the same. What I want to discuss is, and almost found accidentally, is right now I'm at I'm at 40k, and at 40k, I'm going to show you what it looks like without the modification that I made. And if you look at the oscilloscope, you'll see that the yellow is much bigger than the blue. And if I go and I put my modification back in, and I should point out that as the frequency increases, this change becomes greater and greater. Uh, at at a, at a thousand uh, hertz, you can't really see it, but you start getting up there, and it gets worse and worse. This is actually looking better than it normally does because even though it's disconnected, there's some extra capacitance caused by the circuit that I made that's actually correcting it slightly. But I'm going to connect my my connector right now. I'm sorry. And you'll see that the uh, the amplitude is the same. And I could drive this amplitude from 40K all the way down to whatever, the lowest frequency. So because the greatest difference is at the high end, I'm, I'm tuning it for the high end. And what I've got is a small uh, um, tuning capacitor. And it's, and it's probably in and around 50 picofarads. That's all we're really looking at for the change right now. And I have it connected between this capacitor over here, the 0 0.05 on that end, and whichever capacitor going to the EL34 is lower, or, or may in fact be bigger. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you, yellow is going to one, it's going to yellow, so it's going to the bigger one. So as the uh, um, capacitance increases, the yellow comes down and the blue comes up, and they match the same. So it, once again, if I remove a, an end, you can see that there's there's a difference. If I were to remove both wires, you'd really see a difference because uh, uh, of the extra capacitance is just because the wires are connected. And if I put the, put it back in, it straightens out. So I'm wondering what sits between um, the uh, uh, capacitor over here and the capacitor over there that adding a uh, very, very small amount of capacitance will actually stop the uh, waveforms from being different sizes uh, after they come out to 7199 before they go to the EL34.